So, one day you saw an awesome video on YouTube. At 1 p.m., you shared the video link to five unique people. Then, at 2 p.m., each of your friends shared it with five unique people. Then, at 3 p.m., each of their friends shared it with five unique people. If this pattern kept happening, then how many unique people received this link by 11 p.m.? Hmm. So there's, you should realize this is going to be a lot of people. And what we need to do here is we need to make up a geometric sequence. So what is my first term? Well, my first term is not me. The question is, how many people received this link? So am I included in that? No, I started it. So for the first, I'm sharing how many people got the link. You should know for the first one, isn't it five? Then, don't I add, because I'm doing a series here, because then the next grouping, well, if those five people shared it with five more people, can you tell that's 25 people? Unique. I'm assuming that we're not repeating people, they're not sharing with other friends, they're like, these are all completely new, unique people. Now, the next time, won't those 25 people share it with five people? So won't that be 125? And will that keep going? Do you see I just created a geometric series from a word problem? All right. Now, are you okay? This is 1 p.m. This is 2 p.m. This is 3 p.m. How long are we going to? 11 p.m. Now, you could keep this pattern going, but we don't need to. We don't need to find the 11th, 11 p.m., how many people heard it there. We just need to use the formula. So here we go. Do we know our first term? Do we know our common ratio? And do we know the number of terms? Yeah. We know our first term is 5. We know our common ratio because don't we take 25 divided by 5, which is <coughs> 5. Do we know a number of terms? Yeah, well, if I started at 1, I'm going to 11 p.m. Isn't that 11 mm -hmm. numbers? So won't that be 11? By reading the problem, you should see, okay, there's 11 times this is going to happen. Starting with 5 people, and it's 5 times every time. Can we simply plug that in the formula? So S11 is going to be, the first term is 5, 1 minus R, which is 5, to the 11th power, all over 1 minus 5. And if you stick that in your calculator, you'll get an extremely, extremely large number. It is 61 million, 35 thousand, 155 people. That's just a couple people heard this, saw this video. Not just a couple, not that many. That's sarcasm. So that is a huge amount of people. Now, is this reasonable that we would never get a, is it always going to be a unique person in real life? No. There's going to be overlap very quickly. Are people going to break the chain and not keep getting five people? Yes. But it gives you the idea, if for some reason you can actually get this to work, that's how many people would hear it in 11 hours. Watch the video, excluding you. If you want to add you into that, there you go, add one more. Your parents want to invest in a college fund for you. On your first birthday, they invest $1,000 and plan to receive 8% growth on it every year. They invest another $1,000 on every birthday through your 19th birthday. How much will you have in your fund on your 19th birthday? Now, if I have 19 times 1,000, don't you for sure have $19,000? Yeah, but hopefully the interest, the interest should go bigger, so it should have quite a bit bigger than $19,000. Let's see how this pans out. So to start our pattern, do you understand we'd start with 1,000? Isn't that the initial? So we have 1,000. Plus, well, isn't our next one going to be a thousand, but didn't it get 9% growth? So isn't that 1.09? Isn't my growth factor 1.09 once? Then, 
don't I do for the next year, don't I have 1,000 times 1.09 twice? And how long would that go on? 19 times, 19 times which would be 1,000 times 1.09, not 19 times, but 18. That is my geometric series. Now, technically, this is backwards. Because think about the first investment day. Isn't this really your first day investment? Your first, when you're first year, when you're one year old? Because doesn't that one year old have $1,000 and 18 years of interest? Does it, isn't this when you're two years old? Isn't this when you're 19? Don't you have 1000 bucks when you're 19? So if you think about it, it's a little backwards, but it still works. Isn't this your 19th birthday? Isn't this your first birthday? Isn't this your second birthday? It's backwards, but that doesn't matter. It still works. We're just adding backwards. Again, on your first birthday, that's how much money you have since your first birthday. Because it's 1000 plus all the interest. This right here is... Oh, no, my bad. This one's not my second. That one is not my second. Sorry. I, I, do you see why I messed up that? Because the one right here in the dots is your second. What would this one be? It'd be the ninth. This would be 18th. My bad. Wouldn't this be your 18th? And this would be your 17th birthday? My bad. Now, so, so, now, you should see here I have a geometric series. So let's add it up. To do that, I need my terms. I need my A, I need my R, and I need my number of terms. My A, well, technically this is my A, but let's just start here. It doesn't matter what side we start from. Let's use 1,000. It's easier. So I got 1,000 to start with. And then my ratio is the 1.09. Isn't that what we're multiplying repeatedly by? We're multiplying by 1.09 over and over again. And my number of terms was 19 birthdays. So when I plug that in my formula, I get S sub 19 is equal to my first investment, 1 minus 1.09 to the 19th power, all over 1 minus 1.09. And if I simply put that in a calculator, that will give me how much money I have, which is quite a bit. You will end up with $46,018.46. That would be how much money you would have on your 19th birthday, which is quite a bit more than the $19,000 your parents put in over that time period.